the 2016 Delta Downs Quarter Horse Race Report, brought to you by the LQHBA, Delta Equine Center in Vinton, Louisiana, Acadiana Hospital in Opelousas, Robichaux Ranch in Brobridge, Louisiana, and Kenneth L. Roberts Racing Stables. Do you know how great things are in the quarter horse racing industry in the state of Louisiana? With a big year-round racing calendar that allows for horsemen to run at 148 racing days and over $22 million in purses being distributed in 2015 and over $4.5 million in breeder and stallion awards paid out annually and one of the most talented stocked front page to back page annual yearling sales in all of quarter horse racing and with the largest and only $1 million state bred futurity in the industry. The momentum of the losing Louisiana quarter horse racing industry is immense. Louisiana bred quarter horses are faster horses that run for more money. And hello again everyone, I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. On this episode of the Delta Report, we go and look at the recap of the Grade 3 Develop a Plan Stakes, as well as the 870 yard Virgil Bond Stakes, and as well as the top qualifiers coming out of both the Firecracker Derby and Fraternity Trials this past weekend at Delta Downs. So without further ado, let's get right into the recap section and look at the Grade 3 Develop a Plan Stakes. The Grade 3 Develop a Plan Stakes. And they're off in the develop a plan at Delta Downs. RC Me leaving you stumbled in a bump between Fast Times at Red Oak and RC Me leaving you. Meanwhile, the Golden Bowl comes away and storms to the lead. Scoopy's leaving you has work to do on the inside, drifting down to the rail. He's not going to get there. The Golden Bowl wins the develop a plan. JB First Rose got up on the outside for the place. Third went to Scoopy's leaving you. Written by jockey David Alvarez, the Golden Bowl was best late to defeat JB First Rose by a half a length in the Grade 3 Develop a Plan Stakes. The lightly raced son of Mr. Eye-Opener, trained by Martin Trejo, got his fourth win in nine starts and used the $15,000 purse to boost his career total to $34,000 for owner Rogelio Marquez Jr. He was bred in the state of Texas by Jorge Moraz. The price of success is hard work, dedication, and determination. A philosophy that has made trainer Kenny Roberts the third all-time winningest trainer in AQHA history. Always accepting quality horses for the Louisiana Quarter Horse Racing Circuit of Louisiana Downs, Delta, Evangeline, and the Fairgrounds. Consistently one of the top five trainers every year in the U.S. in earnings. Winner of the Grade 1 All-American Derby and the restricted Grade 1 LQHBA Breeders Million Futurity just to name a few stakes wins. Quality and integrity has a name in quarter horse racing, and it goes by the name of Kenneth L. Roberts. The $25,000 Virgil Bond Stakes. They're in the gate. And they're off. And the Virgil Bond at Delta Downs and EC Cartel came away last. JLS Book of Psalms charges out to the early lead on the inside with KR Jess Hopeful right next door. Two lengths back already to Game Own racing in third. A streak of music is now fourth. Coming on now quickly is EC Cartel gaining his stride. He's into fifth but has five lengths to make up. Then comes Downtown Forest who's laying second last as they're midway around the far turn. The trailer is KJR Tokai. Coming for home now on the inside is JLS Book of Psalms. To the outside, it's KR Jess Hopeful trying to stick ahead in front. Game On is beginning to rally on the outside. Then Streak of Music. EC Cartel is really gaining down the middle of the track. It's JLS Book of Psalms. EC Cartel on the outside. JLS Book of Psalms and EC Cartel. JLS Book of Psalms wins. The Virgil Bond stakes just barely over EC Cartel, who was second, third, went to Game On. Jockey Lucas Constantine led the field from the early part of the race through the turn and just refused to let JLS Book of Psalms surrender the lead to capture the Virgil Bond Stakes in a gutty performance for owner JLS Speed Horse Incorporated who is also the breeder and trainer Lanny Keith. JLS Book of Psalms was bred in the state of Louisiana. Introducing Acadiana Equine Hospital in Opelousas, Louisiana, a state-of-the-art equine veterinary practice and surgery center, offers a veterinary-directed rehabilitation center that features an aqua treadmill, not to mention a breeding center with some of the top stallions in the state. You can view the entire 2016 stallion roster, as well as the array of services offered at this advanced veterinary clinic by logging on to AcadianaEquineHospital.com. Firecracker Derby Trials. 
Several great performances this past weekend showed up in the top three-year-olds going at it in Vinton, including the fastest qualifier and the second fastest qualifier, Tickdale and First Fancy Prize, both coming out of the same race. The fastest qualifier, Tickdale, looking most impressive as he comes from behind to catch First Fancy Prize in deep stretch to set the fastest time under jockey Manuel Gutierrez for trainer Adrian Hutro. The third place finisher in the trial, Slick Melody, finished in the fifth spot in the qualifying. In another trial race, the third fastest qualifier, She's a Hot Valentine out of the Homer Garza barn, led from gate to wire as the grade two Sam Houston Futurity winner, Ivan James, was in hot pursuit to finish with the fourth fastest time going into the finals with jockey Raul Ramirez Jr. aboard. The grade two firecracker Futurity Trials. Quarter Horse Racing is always a reminder that you don't have to spend the large money to get a top runner. Marvelous, a $9,500 purchase at the 2015 TQHA Yearling Sale, is proof positive of that. As she spurts down the racetrack with the fastest time under jockey David Alvarez for trainer Martin Trejo with the sixth fastest qualifier, leave a famous memory finishing second. And that leads us to the second fastest qualifier from the Firecracker Trials, Platinum FDD, the Adrian Hutron trained first down dash gelding who rocketed down the Benton, Louisiana race course with Damian Martinez aboard with the Old South Futurity winner Sizzling Stewart in hot pursuit who would wind up qualifying in the 10th spot. And then there's the third fastest qualifier, Aaron Goings own Dash for a Little Cash under Gilbert Ortiz for trainer Michael Taylor, who battled to the wire with Carmel Diamond, who qualified fourth for the Firecracker. On a side note, Aaron Goings qualified two into the finals, with the seventh fastest qualifier, Jess Cruz in the Mall. And you can read all about the trials and see a full list of qualifiers of all the major stakes events on StallionEsearch.com. The Delta Down Stakes Preview. There are no stakes races this weekend at Delta, but that doesn't mean that they are light on excitement as the Delta Downs Derby Trials are set to be contested this weekend, spotlighted by the Vinton Stakes and LQHBA Sales Futurity winner, Tellarosa. Also entered into the Derby Trials is last year's Mardi Gras Futurity winner, Magic Blackjack from the Martin Trejo Stable, as well as the champion Philly, winner of last year's Lassie and Lee Berwick Futurity, Jessa Louisiana Zoomed. And then there's the Lee Berwick Futurity Trials with one of the top talked about two-year-olds in the country as far as I'm concerned, RDD La Jolla Fast and Dash, seen here in one of the top two-year-old performances of 2016 thus far, as well as going postward, the Michael Taylor Train Lassie Futurity winner, Louisiana Jewels. And as a reminder to all the Delta Report viewers, StallionEsearch.com will be on hand at Delta for the Firecracker and Lee Berwick Futurity Weekends to bring you all the recaps here on the Delta Report. Delta Equine Center in Vinton, Louisiana. Breeders can view the upcoming Stallion roster for 2016 at DeltaEquineCenter.com. That list includes the Grade 1 producing Sire Agouti, the son of Corona Cartel. Shining First Dash, the Grade 1 half-brother to leading sire Shazoom. One Famous Brioni, the full brother to one of the nation's top sires, One Famous Eagle. The astoundingly handsome I Got Your Tack, the Grade 1 Golden State Million Futurity winner. And introducing to Louisiana for 2016, the Grade 1 winning Prospect to the Top. Quality. Integrity. Delta Equine Center. The Delta Report Stallion Spotlight. This week's Stallion Spotlight goes to the sire, Ivory James, the son of Corona Cartel by the Blue Hen Mare, Dash and Follies, which makes him a full brother to the number one sire of money earners for 2015, PYC Paint Your Wagon. He earns his spotlight due to the fastest trial qualification by his daughter, Marfalus, in the 2016 Grade 2 Firecracker Futurity Trials. As a runner, Ivory James was a grade one placed winner and an earner of over $220,000 on the racetrack. As a sire, Ivory James has produced some big earners. Six crops to race with over 10 million in earnings is ultra impressive. And you can research more about Ivory James and see his sire stats on his stallion page at stallionesearch.com. The Stallions of Robichaux Ranch in Brobridge, Louisiana. The champion three-year-old Apolitical Blood. The multiple stakes winner Fast Prize Jordan. AQHA champion Five Bar Cartel. AQHA champion sire Fury of the Wind. 
nationally ranked leading sire, Gang Patriot. AQHA champion sire, he's a fast dash. Multiple grade one winner, Jet Black Patriot. And two-time champion, Toasta Dash. This incredible lineup of stallions can be found at none other than Robichaud Ranch Incorporated in Bro Bridge, Louisiana. On next week's episode of the Delta Report, we recap the trials of the Delta Downs Derby as well as the Grade 1 Lee Berwick Futurity. And we preview the Alabama Futurity and the Grade 3 Miss Polly Classic. And if you can't be at the racetrack this weekend, go to aqha.com forward slash racing and watch all the Q Racing videos from the partnering racetracks from across the country. You can not only follow Louisiana Quarter Horse Racing on Stallion eSearch, but you can also follow along on stallionesearch.com's Facebook page. Be sure to like us. And we'll see you next week here on the Delta Report. Ooh.